Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I just Okay, so because I opened up with you guys about how I was overeating because Trader Joe's triggered me. Oh, a lot of it I didn't even open. Like I haven't had the mashed potatoes. I haven't had the meatballs. Um, majority of the TV dinners I haven't had. I haven't had the chicken tacos. Haven't had the chicken poppers. Oh, I got this recently. Veggie chorizo. Kind of want to try that. Haven't even opened the chicken pot stickers. Haven't opened the Thai vegetable geyser. Majority of it, I didn't even touch. So I just wanted to make that clear. Today for me is just like a deep cleaning day, like mopping the whole nine yards. I even got a new litter box, but like every other month I like to get a completely new one. Ready to serve you, Miss Moneybag. But just things like that. And so that's why I'm keeping my hair up. I literally just washed it yesterday. There's still enough grease in your hair. Didn't you wash it? It is a frizzy mess, but it's super windy outside. And I just got back in from walking Twinkie and my frizzies were just like flying everywhere. Wash your fucking hair. I actually have weighed in a couple times. Regardless, I do want to put them in here for you guys. So, okay, I feel like I'm actually rambling right now. So we should probably get to the weigh-in. I feel like that's why everyone's here, which I totally understand. Hey, you guys. So it's time for another weigh-in. So Hello. Eight ready. Weight limit exceeded. One person at a time, please. 490.8 pounds. Four what? Damn! Damn! See, all that water weight that I gained from being off a of track, getting back on track, I instantly lost it. The next day. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to step on the scale with clothes. Um, Hello. I haven't binged in quite a few days. So I actually filmed myself, filmed myself stepping on the scale and I was wearing this maxi dress. So I also filmed myself weighing the maxi dress so we can get a little how much do these things weigh type of situation. So I'm gonna turn it on. Can you see it? Can you see the scale? No. I don't know. Here we go. 492.6 pounds. Okay, now I'm gonna do it without clothes. Okay guys, stepping on without any clothing. I just want them to see that I'm turning it on. No, no. All you have to do is tap the side of it. Ready. And then how I get on is I put my hand right here. Cheaters! Yeah. Cheaters! Cheaters! That's so count. Cheater, cheater, compulsive eater. 480.0 pounds. Which is how I always weigh myself naked. Show me your leg. So I did step on the scale for you guys. It's really strange to me. The bar constantly moves. Like no one's ever happy with my weigh-ins regardless of how I post them. But there's just physically no way I could have faked that. I was standing in the middle of my bathroom. You guys watched me turn on the scale. But regardless, I am back to my lowest weight. And I'm very happy about that. I knew that the weight that I gained when I was like off track for those six days wasn't real weight. And cause it's like, I was doing so good. It happened really quickly because I knew I gained a lot of water weight. And so it left my body quickly. And I think that's why, like I had a moment where I was like super upset with myself and like I did cry, but I think that's why like I was able to pick myself back up. Oh no, I've fallen and I can't get up. Like normally during times like this, like where I gain weight, I just continue to do so. But I feel like I've improved. My mentality has drastically improved, like let's be real. And so instead of gaining those 10 pounds and regretting it, but continuing the pattern, I gained those 10 pounds, regretted it, and told myself, you're better than this. Let's pick it back up and get back on track. I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89 pounds before. Like in the past, I'd be sitting here right now with another three or four pounds gained. 100%. Later that same evening. So some of you have been like, I know my closet's crazy. Some of you have been like, oh my god, like where's the Torrid Halls? So I did go to Torrid. Did your mommy bring you? No, I didn't. I didn't go there. I ordered from there, sorry. And I spent $500. And then I got this crazy thing. So I love it. I think it's super cute. But I definitely will feel more comfortable in this once I lose weight. It is a very long shirt. It's got this which it's kind of frumpy too. It's white with black stripes. And I wish I would have gotten a size smaller. And then there's actually one of the dresses I have already worn, which I'll post here. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, 
Yeah, that must sit. So then over here in my clean clothes pile that I just like the sheer blue situation. And then another thing, which I have in a box. Go get it, hold on. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, since it's frumpy on me, it's probably not gonna fit her. It might be too big. Actually, maybe she can use it like as a sleep nighty. I don't know, but we're it's just a bunch of like uh bumblebees and dots. I did get a lot of underwear, and some of them I haven't even opened. Like I got these light purple lace. Put them on. I'm camera. I'm camera. Black lace, pink with some polka dots, and also some lace. <laughs> I love lace. That's right. Put them on. Do you consider yourself a sexual person? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Dream. Last time me and Becky had sex was, we were here in this apartment. It was one time. I would consider myself to actually be a very sexual person, especially like if we vibe in that way, like sex every day. Um, I'm a daily sex type of girly pop, so. And then this is like my favorite underwear from them, which I might just like stock up on it and like get a lot more. It's just black with a little turret on top. I just think it's so cute. My girlfriend got some rope <laughs> um, for some extra curricular activities. Some more rope, <laughs> love that for us. Is it like a uh, forest green? What's your ideal sexual fantasy? Tie me up, uh, put my panties on my mouth. <laughs> Come do whatever you want to me because I'm tied up. So there's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, like Torrid is so expensive. <sighs> This shopping trip, hit or miss, it was slightly a miss. Okay, so for those of you who have been asking about my Lego, the Batman shadow box that I'm Batman. That Valentine got me, I wanna give you the update. So I'm not finished yet, but this is how it is looking so far. Like this part, you can like turn the thing in the back. These chairs move. Like this opens by the way. Um, this goes up as well. I'm just so appreciative that Valentine got me this. Like my funny Valentine. Um, speaking of Valentine, there's something I have to tell you guys. But if you guys remember this video, there is someone in my life that I would say is special. And that video was actually filmed days before Valentine's Day. But on Valentine's Day, Valentine asked me to be her girlfriend. And I did say yes. I've had a girlfriend for over two months now and I just didn't want to say anything like really in my vlogs yet. I just didn't feel like I needed to. And it's just, as you get older, your brain works a little differently. And I've just learned sharing too much is not a good thing. I figured, you know what? Yes, there's no longer single in. So that's all I really want to say for now. Because that just feels kind of wild to just like vocalize out loud on my YouTube channel that yes, I am in another relationship. That's what I'm really happy. I'm starting to like blush a little bit, not gonna lie. Hey guys, I've been waiting for this package today. So I have been seeing this hairbrush on TikTok. It's called the Unbrush. We're gonna try that because people act like it just is the best thing that's been ever invented. So, and then this is the Unbrush. Wow, it's like light. This feels cheap. So. Wow, she is cr wow. I don't want to brush my hair! Wait, am I rethinking this whole situation? Oh my god, I feel like that looks so pretty. <gasps> wow. Um, I feel like my hair just... is hairy. <laughs> like, my hair is hairy. But it looks so good. Like, so weirdly good. Oh, so this is my regular hairbrush. I like, hurt by no means. Let's take a final look at these curls. Wow, so pretty. All right, let's try it. I get it, people. I see what they're saying. I, but I will say it does go through it like so smooth. So, okay, I get the hype, but I am about to put my hair back in a bun. I'm not gonna lie to you. Twenty seventeen bun. Hey okay, guys, so I'm about to get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Quiet driving me insane. Silence rattles in my brain. Yeah, I gotta